everyone welcome to my channel i am roshan and i am speaking from a small town in the beautiful state of assam in the northeastern part of india and this is my home my parents home and you can see the early morning hours and i just woke up and this is the front side of our house and it's green all around and the season is quite dry because there is no rain the winter has just gone by and we are yet to witness summer and i have come back to the house and look at the condition of the living room and let me tell you that this has been done by a baby the baby boy is 1 year old and whenever he is on our lap he insists on going down on the floor and exploring each and every item that is there in the room so in that attempt he ends up totally changing the setup of the room so right now in the morning he is still asleep and taking that opportunity i have arranged everything in the room and when he wakes up i'll have to just get back to my daily duties here i'm preparing green tea for the three of us three of us as in me my mother and my sister my husband is not here right now he is about to come in a few days and let's just have this tea and then we will get back to other tasks at hand so i had already freshened up brushed my teeth and all after i had woken up the first thing that i had done in the morning but i had not applied anything on my skin so this is the day cream that i applied the pilgrim day cream with spf 30 and this is suitable for my oily skin i don't know in the harsh summers how it will go because i sweat a lot my skin is too oily but i have been using this cream since october and till date it's actually working well on my skin it suits me and because i I am about to run short of the cream. I have already ordered another one for me. So this is the third one that I am going to use the container. So yeah, this is a very good face cream or day cream. Though you can use it in the evenings too because it's not specified that it is a day cream. But since it has got SPF and uh it has not been mentioned as a night cream too because for night they have another cream so i think as a day cream it's more suitable and here i am pouring some mustard oil into an empty bottle because that's more comfortable for me than to apply on my baby for massage and everything during colds also mustard oil is actually very beneficial this has been running in our family since my grandmother's days and maybe even before that which i'm not aware of but it has been passed down to me also of applying mustard oil on your baby's body on his nose on his hair scalp that is so that he does not feel cold he does not suffer from cold and you know cough etc and this was an actually empty shampoo bottle which i am utilizing and before he wakes up let me just quickly prepare for his lunch because in the morning i will feed him oats but for lunch today i will give him steamed broccoli along with rice and other assortments too but uh, cutting broccoli is a thing which i am not very accustomed to so cutting a broccoli into pieces you can see from my you know hand maneuvers that i am such a new buy to this thing so i don't usually cook at home we have a helping hand so but for my baby's items i often get into action so i'll steam these and then offer him and my 
baby will have broccoli for the first time and I'm not sure how he will actually you know find it how he will actually accept it let's see but other videos on YouTube which shows babies having broccoli steamed broccoli especially it looks like they enjoy having broccoli but I don't know I'm not sure about my baby and here our help she is trying to reach this banana flower it will be cooked it's a very rich source of iron <laughs> and other nutrients And I have changed his clothes, his diaper, and got him freshened up. He has already had his oats. Now I am at the kitchen for my mid-morning tea because I need this. And right now at home, there is no one. My mother has left for school, my sister for her clinic, and our helper has also left. And now I am alone at home. And I was in the mood of having some French toast and tea. In the mid mornings, I always go for a second cup of tea or coffee, a rich one. So that's why I'm taking my baby along, and he enjoys watching me work near the guest stop. Though it's not recommended to carry your baby near fire or water or any such tasks, hazardous ones. But here I am trying to be as careful as possible. So here I am at my task. Sometimes it's even fun and you pass your time otherwise you just get stuck to the bed and you know looking after your baby so that he does not fall off from the bed and everything. You need movement and no better way than this. I will enjoy my french toast and my tea sitting with my baby. So here me and my tea partner are enjoying our tea time together and it was lovely chatting with all of you out there. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.